In the previous video titled Navigating Pathways in Greet Excel, I demonstrated some strategies for understanding the pieces of a fuel pathway by examining equations and formulas in Greet. In this video, I'll use those strategies to trace the E85 fuel pathway upstream from its final total energy result. This exercise is relatively advanced for most Greet users, so watching the video more than once or reviewing the previous video might be wise if you feel the content becomes confusing. First, I'll deconstruct the formula for the total energy result. Then I'll trace upstream through the processes of distribution and storage, fuel refining, and feedstock recovery. Note that in this video, I'll be using Greet 2015. The total energy value for E85 is located on the results worksheet in cell M14. And in the formula, we see references to the vehicles worksheet, as well as fuel specs, petroleum, TND, and ethanol. And many of the references are repeated. The references on this results sheet are for unit conversion, and I won't address them any further in the video. I deconstructed the formula using the method I've demonstrated before, and I found 16 unique references. Some values in the formula are constants that don't require investigation. They include loss factors, as well as the vehicles and fuel specs references, which are used to calculate the energy content values for the fuel pathways that make up E85. The remaining values are highlighted, and they group into categories of transportation distribution storage, then fuel production, and feedstock production. This video will focus on tracing the formulas behind these values to see the upstream inputs into this pathway. But before I start tracing through Greet Excel, it'll be helpful to simplify the relevant terms in the E85 formula. There are three fuel pathways combining to make up E85, gasoline, gasoline blend stock, and ethanol. Note that by default, Greet treats gasoline blend stock as gasoline fuel without any additives, pure gasoline, whereas the fuel called gasoline does contain an oxygenate additive, and by default that additive is ethanol. This might be a bit confusing because there are three upstream fuels in E85, but one of those is a combination of the other two, and I'll explain this further when looking at the fuel refining cell references. In this total energy formula, the energy content for each fuel is divided by the combined energy content of all three fuels to make a fuel share percentage, then that's multiplied by the total energy value for that fuel. So we have the energy content of gasoline blend stock divided by the combined energy content, then multiplied by total energy of gasoline blend stock, then added to the same routines for gasoline and ethanol. There are also terms at the end of the formula for gasoline transportation and distribution. More on that in just a bit. As I mentioned, the energy content calculations involve constants, so I'll leave those aside. Looking then at the total energy calculations for each fuel pathway, notice that they're quite similar. For each, there is a feedstock production term and a fuel production term, two of the three groupings of formula references that I highlighted in my result deconstruction. The third grouping was transportation and distribution, and one of those terms is shown here in the gasoline blend stock equation. The other terms appear at the end of the E85 formula. These T and D terms are a good place to start tracing upstream in Greet Excel. The first of the three distribution and storage references is on the T and D worksheet in cell G212. The value here is 1,878 BTUs of total energy for distribution of gasoline blend stock. And the formula shows the transport mode share, in this case truck, being multiplied with another value, which I found earlier to be the total energy for transporting gasoline blend stock by truck. Pretty basic. Now I'll go to the results worksheet and see that this T&D value is actually being subtracted from the term representing total energy for gasoline blend stock. I'll explain why this is, and then later on we'll see more within the fuel refining references in our E85 formula. In the division of life cycle processes in Greet, there's feedstock, fuel, and vehicle operation. 
and the fuel process includes transportation and distribution of a fuel up to the point where it will be combusted or expended in the vehicle operation process. Because gasoline blend stock is blending into another fuel instead of going to a fueling station in this instance, the distribution reference must be subtracted to take out a fuel life cycle term that doesn't reflect the real life pathway. It's the final blended E85 fuel that will go to a fueling station, so T&D impacts will be included at the end of the E85 formula. I'll show this again in the next section of the video, and hopefully the concept will become clearer if it's not already. The distribution references at the end of the E85 formula are petroleum AR-102 and AS-102. These refer to distribution of gasoline with a value of almost 2,000 BTUs and storage of gasoline, which has a zero value. If we jump back to the results sheet to see where these references fit in the formula, we see they appear at the very end, indicating that these values account for the transportation, distribution, and storage of the final E85 fuel. Now, GREET doesn't report T&D values for E85, but E85 would use the same T&D infrastructure as gasoline, so using the gasoline T&D values is a practical substitute. That does it for the distribution and storage references. With the exception of subtracting a value for accurate accounting, these references are actually pretty straightforward. Now I'll move on to the fuel refining references. There is a fuel refining reference for each of the three upstream fuel pathways, and I'll start with gasoline blend stock. The gasoline blend stock terms for the E85 result formula are shown here. We'll review the crude feedstock term later on. The loss factor is a constant, and we already covered the gasoline blend stock distribution term. The fuel term is made up of the inputs from fuel refining, transportation, distribution, and feed loss. And I'll go into GREET Excel and identify the cell references that contain these inputs. The gasoline blend stock fuel result is on the petroleum worksheet. There are three references. AN102 is total energy for refining. AQ62 is a loss factor. And AQ102 is total energy for transportation and distribution. Remember that GREET includes T&D impacts with the fuel life cycle process as seen here, and because this fuel will ultimately be blended to make E85, these T&D impacts are subtracted out in the E85 total energy formula. Looking at the equation for gasoline blend stock T&D, there are three upstream references. One is AQ101, a feed loss value. The others are on the T&D sheet. One of these is T&D G212, the gasoline blend stock distribution value that we saw before that was subtracted in the E85 formula. The other term, F212, represents gasoline blend stock transportation. So the three references in cell AQ102 represent transportation, distribution, and feed loss. And they're added to the total energy for refining of gasoline blend stock to calculate the value in cell petroleum D241. And we can see all of those references here. Remember that the value for distribution will be subtracted out of the E85 formula. Now to the ethanol fuel refining reference. In the formula for this term, there are several biomass feedstocks that could be used to make ethanol. And the total energy for each biomass to fuel process is multiplied by a share percentage that can be user defined. By default, though, only corn grain ethanol is used in this pathway, so the other references can be ignored, and then the formula just has three terms. Total energy for corn grain ethanol refining, the 100% fuel share, and then this ethanol distribution value, which is subtracted. Let's go to GREET to investigate a little further. Looking at the deconstruction, we can see the total energy and fuel share values for each feedstock. 
Then the last reference is from the T&D sheet. That's the ethanol distribution value that is subtracted out. The concept we uncovered before applies here as well. Because this ethanol fuel will be blended with gasoline, the distribution value is subtracted from the formula. Finally, to the gasoline fuel refining reference, this formula contains nested if statements, and this is to provide options for the additive used in the gasoline. By default, GREET uses ethanol as the additive, which I alluded to earlier in the video, and the value representing ethanol is 4, so we can drop the terms that deal with other additives, and we're left with total energy for gasoline blend stock refining multiplied by the gasoline blend stock fuel share, then added to total energy for ethanol, multiplied by the ethanol fuel share, then some terms for distribution and storage of gasoline. In the formula deconstruction, I simplified the equation and highlighted the relevant references. Cell reference C10 controls which additive is used, and J139 determines the ethanol fuel share. The remaining highlighted references are ones we've seen before because this pathway is simply a combination of gasoline blend stock and ethanol. The first references here represent the gasoline blend stock portion, and the next group represents the ethanol portion. So we've now covered the fuel refining references for the E85 result formula, so let's move on to the feedstock recovery references. Crude recovery serves as the feedstock for both gasoline blend stock and gasoline, so I'll go there first. In the GREET formula for crude recovery, the general process is made up of different petroleum recovery techniques, and the sum includes the energy share for each technique multiplied by its total energy value. In the crude recovery deconstruction, there's a pattern where groupings of terms account for the different recovery techniques beginning with their share of total crude recovery, which I've highlighted, followed by the energy input required for the different recovery processes, as well as transportation and storage, and some loss factors. The formula is much simpler to analyze once that pattern is outlined. I could continue to investigate the E85 pathway upstream from here, but I'll instead turn to the other feedstock reference in our original results formula, and that is total energy for ethanol feedstock. Just as with the ethanol fuel reference, the ethanol feedstock reference is made up of feedstock pathways for different sources of biomass. Again, by default, all shares are zero except the corn ethanol pathway, so the formula can be reduced to just two terms. We can see this reflected in the deconstructed formula, which is very similar to the ethanol fuel deconstruction except that there's no distribution accounting to do for the feedstock phase. To conclude everything that's been discussed, the E85 pathway is a combination of three other pathways, gasoline blend stock, gasoline, and ethanol, which are really just two pathways because gasoline is a combination of the two others. This can make tracing the pathway a little confusing, especially with the subtraction of T&D values in various places. On the positive side, though, a few upstream formulas were simplified by identifying fuel shares and eliminating references with no bearing on the calculations. Now that I've investigated all of the major energy input terms in the E85 fuel pathway, I hope you have a fair understanding of how to trace a pathway upstream from its final result formula. There will probably be more videos in the future demonstrating other fuel pathways in GREET Excel and GREET.net, so stay tuned for those. And thanks for watching.